Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Wherever you're tuning in from, welcome back to the channel. My name is ASFM. I hope you are all staying safe with what's going on and I hope you are all well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to season two, episode seven. I think this one is. Yes, it is. It's episode seven. We have Barui in the cup. We're doing the first leg and the second leg today. Um, I didn't realise we had a game in between, which is Botev Plovid, but that's fine. We're just going to play that game um, off camera and come back for the uh, second um, section. I think it's like the last round, I think, for last leg. I think that's what it is. Um, so here we are. We've, we've just played our... We finished up on playing the game against uh, Plod, Locomotive Plodbid. We then played Slavia Sofia, and it was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed actually playing this game. Obviously, I could, didn't call it on camera, so... Um, it couldn't be seen. I can't show any of the game, any of the uh, goals that were scored in that game. But it was fantastic. There was so many goals. It was just end-to-end -end football. It was really brilliant to watch. So the game started with Burakov scoring in the 80th minute. In 80th in the Burakov scoring the 18th minute. Then they scored to level it. Then we went and scored again. Then we scored and it was ruled off. Then they scored to make it 2-2. They then made it 3-2. Todor made it 3 all. then Valchanov came in and scored again, he got two of the day, and then Burakov scored in the 84th minute to make it 4 all. and then the game ended, but we were very, very clinical, and I think we were sort of outplayed um, in that game, they had 21 shots, 12 on target, we had 10 and 8, so we were, we were quite lucky to sort of <laughs> go on and draw that game. Um, so with that with that result, we are currently on the same points as Locomotive Plodvid. We're on 34 and we played 27. So that's brilliant and um, it's good to see going forward, but it's going to be tough. This is a tough, tough um, sort of split and Sofia, Botev and Locomotive Plodvid are all very, very good. Um, so hopefully we can keep going with that one. But today, that doesn't matter. Today, we have the huge game of the Bulgarian Cup semi-final here against Barui. Um, I'd just like to also show you our under-19s. Look at some of these players. They look absolutely fantastic. We've got so many players that have a good style potential. Some, um, obviously, we've got some that have a fantastic potential and others that do also have, you know, a semi-decent potential that could be reached. Divert your attention to it because they are, you know, obviously this is this is pretty much what I'm hoping some of these players to come in when uh, and in a few four in like three four years time they can come in and fit the bill and um, hopefully they can they can go on to become. Uh, be nice to see if some of these these players could become legends for the club. It'd be it'd be cool to see. Um, but with that in mind, we start today's game, and um, as I said, the other game that is going to be played is Le 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 Levski. Is Levski against Cherno Moore in their semi cup first round, uh, first leg? Sorry. So the tactic I'm going to be playing today is the four four two. Same again. Um, we're going to have Steph and Vlad in a deep. Uh, uh, Vlad's in that deep line playmaker role. I think I've put him on defence. So he's a bit more sort of sits back, and Steph is a box to box midfielder, so he should be going batting up and down the wing, up and down the midfield. Um, obviously, up front we've got Burakov and Papazov. Burakov's still on that target man because I just think he plays that so well. Um, he's been absolutely just. He's just been monumental. I might change Papazov to an advanced forward. And see how that impacts his game going forward. Because he plays that role a lot better. Because in terms of his actual front well, he's sort of dropped off as a poacher. But he's still obviously he's still, you know, a fantastic talent. Um, then we've got Stanchev on that, I think it's on the left-hand side, and Petkov on the right. Ilev in that fullback on the left-hand side. Stoev, Kerchev, they're coming in as no-nonsense centre backs tonight. Um, because we just need to get it out, get it cleared. Um, and hopefully, you know, we stay we stay on track and um, can nick a, nick a goal here and there. And Bustanov is on the right. And again, Vassal is in goal. He's been absolutely monumental this season. He's been really, really good. And uh, on the bench, we've got uh, Starev. He's the 20-year-old. He's come back from his loan. Um, and uh, he's all right. I mean, I think I'll probably be sending him out. I'll probably be sending him out next season on loan again because he's, uh, he's very, very young. Um, but he's not he's not bad, you know, aerial reach nine. They're just he's just solid as a keeper and should hopefully grow, um, knowing him and, and then hopefully another loan next season will will cause that. Obviously we've got Zion, we've got D and Dai, we've got Kusev, Petkov, Lagoa and Todor on the bench. Hopefully going forward we can 
go on to win this because this is a big, big game. This can potentially secure us in Europe if we go into the final. Um, and uh, yeah, I just don't want to get too ahead of myself because obviously, you know, if we do manage to win a domestic trophy in the first two seasons, then it's going to be massive. You know, so for some of these players, that's that's huge. And then obviously the financial benefits of going into Europe for this club would be huge. And then we can sort of start to ask for, I'm not sure, a bit more sort of input into the um, youth facilities and, and that sort of thing. But here we are. I'm going to point my fingers and I'm going to say, um, oh, what do I say? I say, Baru have won three of their last game. If we perform at the best, we can deny them here. It's over to you now. Have a good night. First language, do as well to good. Let's give something for the fans to cheer for today. Yeah, pe a few people are motivated. I'm going to point, I have faith in the midfield. I'm going to have my hands in my pockets and I'm going to say, I've got some faith for the people in um, sorry, that's for the defence, this is for the midfield, now we're for into the attack. I'm going to point my finger and say I want you to go out there and grab us some goals. Hopefully everyone's motivated going into this game, which is brilliant because I don't want anyone sort of demotivated as that's a uh, big issue. And um, here we are, so we've had uh, two wins, one loss and a draw. And I'm not too sure how uh, Barui come into this. Um, I think they've done quite well. Yeah, so they've had three wins and two draws. So they are also playing a 4-4-2 for today's game, so that, that could be a... Uh, sort of clash of the tactics as well but here we go let's get started here with this episode and the first game we have no highlights currently in the uh, first 10 minutes which is good it's okay I'm fine with that and um, yeah I just think we've just sort of turned it around in this uh, in the Bulgarian Cup and I just feel it's just like a completely different style of play that we play and here we are with Petkov Petkov back to Bustinov and out to Steph Steph to Burakov Burakov to Papasov out to Steph, Steph's on that midfield, Burakov, oh my goodness me, Papazov's through, oh my word, Papazov could have potentially have made it 1-0 and he's fired it wide of the post, but that was some fabulous play there, and here we go, we've got another highlight, 22 minutes in, Burakov to Ilev, Lilev, what can he do, he finds a beautiful ball to Papazov, oh goodness me, and now here come Barui, how can they come in and attack, they're coming with Luma and Kukula's there, oh god, not Kukula, he's... He absolutely demolished us a few games, but I think it's like the start of the season. He just completely torn us apart. And here we go. Here's Mitkov out to Kelev. Kelev now. He goes out to test. Uh, goes to Testakov. Uh, Lebon. Lebon now. He's pushing forward out to Tilla Zestev to Kukula. Lebon. Oh, good, fantastic challenge there. Oh, but Vaselev's there. He's back to Lebon. Oh, and here they come now with a beautiful ball that's being whipped in, and Bombay's there. Oh God, it's just going over the bar. I thought that went in, but. My word, that was a bit of a scare there from uh, from Barui as uh, they come forward. And I'm going to encourage the boys because I think they've been very, very good so far this game. And 30 minutes in, we've had two highlights that potentially could have gone either way. And now here we are, 39 minutes in, we have a highlight. Petkov to Burakov, Burakov to Vlad, out to Stanchev, to Papazov. Oh my goodness me, the passing play was fantastic. And Lokomotiv Sofia have their first goal of the Bulgarian semi-final here. And it's Papazov. This, I think he's 18 now, but goodness me, what passing play there. And he just taps it home and he's playing that advanced forward role. Maybe that sort of changed his style of play. But goodness me, that was some fantastic play. And it's half time and Lokomotiv Sofia going to the first leg, 1-0 up here and have 45 minutes to potentially increase that lead or hold on for dear life. Now, I'm coming into the thing. I'm going to have my uh, outstretched arms. I'm going to say I'm delighted with your performance. And uh, I'm going to encourage the teams because they've been absolutely fantastic today. And here we are, another highlight. And the 48th minute here. And Tvetskov can come forward. And Zelov, and Zelev's there. Sorry, and Vasilev now. Where can he go? He's pulled a pushing forward. He goes to Lebon. Lebon now, what's he doing? He's just firing forward and oh my goodness me, they've hit an absolute worldie from Keelan Lebon and it's one all and I can't really get annoyed with that. No one pressed him out in, in the defensive, um, in the midfield there and he's just sort of, he must have shot from about 20, 25 yards out. Look at this, goes on a run, player and then just fires it past Vla, uh, Vassal in goal. And we are drawing here. And here we are, another highlight, 49 minutes in here. And Stoev can take us forward. Where's he going to go? He fires a ball to Papazov. Papazov collects. Now Steph now. What's he going to do? He plays a beautiful ball to Stanchev. Stanchev back to Steph. Steph now. Don't lose possession. Well played. Plays it back to Ilev. Just playing it safe, which is good. Ilev now. What's he going to do? He's playing it out to Bastanov. 
Bastinov. He plays a beautiful ball to Petkov. Petkov now, what's he going to do? First time ball over to Stanchev. Oh, goodness me, and Stanchev heads it over. But we could have again... We're, are we being... We're not being clinical enough here. Cherno Moore, a 3-2 up against Levski here. And we are drawing. It's one all. But I feel that we've sort of been the more dominant team here. And hopefully we can keep this up. I'm going to encourage the boys, obviously, because it's the 70th minute. Hopefully, can we can we score a last sort of 10 minute game here? And here we go. 77 minutes in, they've we've got a highlight. And Bunja, I think that's his name. He comes forward. Hopefully, goes straight past Ilev. Ilev with a fabulous challenge. And Hassani's there. And Mikhov's there. But a ball comes playing out. And Petkov is there. Petkov now. Oh, it's gone back to Mazegi. And they've just sort of recycled the possession here. And he's going to fire a beautiful ball out. And Vasilev's there. Vasilev now. What can he do? He plays it back to Kukula. Kukula to Lebon. Lebon now. Is he going to go for a long-range banger? I don't think he is. And Mikov's there. Lebon's there. Oh, goodness me. Vasilev's there. Oh, my word. It's come off the post. And we survive. Oh, my goodness me. That was so close. I'm going to encourage. And hold on a moment. I'm just going to make a tactical substitution. Because I don't think we've got... I'm going to take off... I'm going to keep... Oh, what, what do I do here? Because I'm not too sure. Um, Burakov hasn't been great. And he's going to come on. No, I think Burakov's got to stay on. And he's going to play as a target man. Where's the target man? Oh, there it is. Sorry. He's playing as a target man. I'm going to play Vlad as a ball-winning midfielder on defend. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to change some of the roles that they were playing and have a, sort of a more defensive-minded uh, tactic here. But 88 minutes in, 89. We're in the 93rd minute here. Can we survive? We have held on. It is one all. That's the first sort of, that's the leg. The first leg has been drawn here. One all. Papa's off with a beautiful goal and Lebon as well. You've got to say the two fantastic goals for the beginning of our first leg here. And we go on to going into the second leg. That was full time. And um, I'm proud of that result. I'm very, very happy with that result going forward. Um, but I'm not too sure if that affects the, um, I'm not too sure if this affects if there's like an, an away goal rule because obviously we were playing home so i'm not too sure if that means if we don't go and score then um that might be an issue but here we are so i made a few demands to the board and um, they said they'd search for an affiliate club uh, the board is unfortunately not going to improve youth recruit recruitment which is a bit of a shame there was that when i demanded that i sort of understood if they would say no and they've also rejected my reserves youth team so they said not in a strong enough financial position what did they say for the youth recruitment uh already good enough for our size right okay that, that's fine that's okay and uh, obviously honors at locomotive sophia here with locomotive sophia and against Barui here. But Lebon, I think he just dictated the game there. And I'm going to send my assistant to this one. But there we are. There's our first game of this episode. And it's a draw against Barui here. And that was the first leg of the Bulgarian Cup. And it's all to play for. We've got it all to play for in the semi-final second leg. The last ditch attempt to hopefully go on and, and get into the final. But my word oh, if we do this in this next in this next game i will be so proud of the boys so what i'll do i'll go and play the botev plodvid game and then and we'll be back for the bulgarian semi-final second leg with barui here so i'll so i'll see you all in that game against barui welcome back to the second leg against barui here we had a fantastic split game with botev plodvid it was a papazov masterclass he absolutely tore them apart and he scored himself a hat-trick it was fantastic play from him um two goals uh that he scored and it was just i thought at the beginning of the game obviously we want one nil down and i was just like no we're just going to get defeated but papazov came in and he rescued it he could have got four but one of them was disallowed and his final goal in the 87th minute he dinks the keeper from like 20 yards out it was such an amazing goal and he's up to 11 of the season and also, I'd just like to draw your attention to the Bulgarian second phase. Obviously, if I go on to the um, clearing phase and go on to, if I go on to stats and player overview. So as you see you're here, obviously, most goals, Ali Sao is winning it. He's on 19. But Burakov is on 15 goals this season. He's third, so he's actually up there. 
playing alongside some of the greats of Ludogret and CSK Sofia. So he's had a fantastic season. And if you look down at seventh, there is Papazov. He's on 11. So he's done very, very well this season as an 18 year old. You know, you're coming up against some of these players in, they're coming up against some of these players in this uh, league who are, you know, in their prime. You know, Ali Sal's 27, he's in his prime. You know, um, Desperadov, he's 25, so he's had a lot of game time. And he's playing for Ludogrets. You know, these teams are a lot better quality than us. So it's good to see that Burakov is up there. And um, hopefully, you know, I think um, as a 21-year-old, I just think he's just been phenomenal for us this season. And obviously going forward into our first game, we are playing the second phase here or second leg, whatever it's called. I don't care. We've had to change a few players because some players have been suspended from that last game. Kerchev got suspended and Petkov. So I've had to put Pedro on the wing and as an inside forward because um, he's pretty decent at it. Uh, I'm going to have a look at his stats because as a as a winger, he's not the greatest. So a winger on attack. So yeah, as we can see here, he's not great. At, anticipation isn't great. Um, but as a inverted winger on attack, He's fairly decent. He's comfortable playing that position. So I decided to put him as an inverted winger. Obviously, we've got Steph and Vlad in that midfield role. Todor as a winger. Up front, we've got Papazov and Burakov still. Obviously, they're our top goal scorers. Um, Ilev in the fullback position on the left-hand side. Stoev and Ndai in the centre partnership. Um, Ndai's come in because, obviously, uh, I think it was Stanchet. No, who was it? Uh, Kerchev, sorry. He's out, in, he's out been suspended. Uh, he, and he's our star player, so that's great. But Ndai really fits the central defensive midfield role really, really well. And he's a good player. So hopefully he comes in and pulls a shift today because we need to ensure that we score to this one. Because I think this does... I think I read the um, the rules of the Bulgarian semi-final and um, away goals do count. So if we don't score today, we will go out. And um, unfortunately, uh, Brewery will go through to the final. So we have to ensure that we win this game. So obviously going in to this game, I think the players know just how much of a huge game this is. So here we are, we're in the dressing room and uh, I'm gonna say to them, I'm gonna point my fingers. I'm not gonna say um, if we carry on what we finished out last time, we'll be in the place in the final. I don't think that's, that puts on a lot of pressure. Um, so I said, let's go and cause an upset. That's motivated one player. I'm going to say to the, mid the defenders, I've got faith in them. I'm going to have my hands in the pockets and I'm going to say to midfield that I have faith in them. And a lot of players are looking inspired and I'm going to outstretch my arm, no, pump my fists and say, I've got faith. Every single player is motivated. Unfortunately, Leper on the, <laughs> on the bench is just enchanted because he's probably not playing. But everyone's inspired as well. So that's brilliant to see. Um, and I'm going to say it's going to be tough. But my word, I really hope we can go on and win this game. So they've come in with four draws and a win. So they're not in the greatest set of form. Whereas we come in, obviously, we've had one loss, three draws and a win. So we're, we're obviously got that bounce from that win. Well, here we are then. The game commences and I cannot... Oh, my goodness me. Three minutes in, we've got a highlight here. And Steph fires the ball in and Stoev's there. Oh, my goodness me. Wow, what a start. Milen Stoev have just scored and that puts us up on the away goals. Oh my goodness me, I don't even know what to say. We just started the game. Two minutes in and we've scored. Stoev, with a, who was that on the delivery? Steph with a fantastic ball. And Stoev gets his first of the season. Goodness me, what a time to score it. Well, well there we are. We are 1-0 up, five minutes in. Goodness gracious me, I didn't even realise that that even happened. What a start. Well, there we are. We, we're 1-0 up. And, uh, well, it, that was very quick. And um, here we are, 20 minutes in, pretty much. And we have another highlight, Todor Bustinov. Bastinov coming through to Vlad. Oh my goodness me, Vlad. He's now, he's got the ball. He's played a ball out, but here they come with Kukula. Oh goodness me, it's a break from the back. And here comes Mikov. Mikov now, he's pushing forward. Oh goodness me, this is horrendous. But Vassal makes a save. Goodness me, Vassal's kept us in there. Because that could have easily been one all as they broke on us from the back. And Vassal again, but it's off the line. Oh my goodness me, it was off the line. Wow. Okay, this has been a really really fast start here and here we are second highlight here 29 24 minutes in sorry and Ilev comes forward what can he do he comes forward he plays it to Steph Steph now he's moving forward Steph back to Ilev Ilev on oh, it's a fantastic oh no and Kukula's on it and Kukula's pushing forward but he's missed it oh my goodness me and I'm going to change our defense to a little bit cautious here because we are being outplayed a little bit on this and I'm going to say definitely to Mikov always press him 
I'm going to encourage the boys, but 36 minutes in, it's been a very, very contested half. And here we go, Steph with a beautiful delivery. Can he find one? You know, Papasov's there. Oh my goodness me, Papasov has scored 13th goal of the season. And we are 2 0 up in this, and we have the away goal rule. Oh my word, have we got one foot in the final here? Papasov with a beautiful header. And he scores his 13th of the season, and what a time to score it. And then die now. What can he do? He's fired a ball out to Todor, back to Bastanov. Bastanov now, out to Steph. Steph now, into Papazov. Papazov shoots. Oh my goodness me, he's just hit the crossbar. What is this kid on? Oh my goodness me, what is going on? This kid is insane. <laughs> he's 18, and he's literally scoring bangers. Right, 48 minutes in, it's half time, and we are 2 0 up, 3 1 out on aggregate. Have we got ourselves a foot in this final here? Oh, I'm so excited. Right, here we go, dressing room. Um, I'm going to outstretch my arms. I'm delighted with that performance going into the second half. And can we, for the next 45 minutes, hold on? And see this game through. But here we are. Steph now. Fires in a ball. What can he do? It's Mitkov. It's out. But Ilev is there to collect. Can he reclaim possession? He has. And Vlad now. Goes back to Ilev. Ilev now. Into Burakov. Back to Stoev. Burakov now. He's just holding the possession. Stoev. What can he do? Fires a ball to Steph. Steph out to Stoev. And Stoev plays a horrendous ball. But here they come. Mitkov now. What can he do? He brings the ball back. And oh my goodness me. Kakula's through. Kukula shoots and it's a beautiful goal and they've got one back. Oh no, that was a brilliant goal, goal to be honest. And I'm going to go a bit more, oh no. Here we go, second highlight here and Bunjar now, he fires the ball forward but Stoev collects but he's just fired it out. Oh goodness me, this is horrendous. And here we go, Stoev now fires the ball back out and here we go, come on Pedro, let's go. Pedro pushing forward, plays it to Papazov. Papazov has been... Oh no, and Kukula's there, and Mitkov's through, no, don't do this to me, how have they done that? Oh, this is horrendous, oh, what has happened? It's 2-2, two -two and I'm a bit deflated here, uh, as I'm going to go back to balanced, and I'm going to encourage the team, but we have given, yeah, like they said, we've given away possession here far too cheaply. Oh, is this my fault here? Pedro keeps pushing forward, come on, uh, back to Ilev, Ilev now, god, I'm not nearly shaking here, Steph to Vlad, oh my goodness me, Vlad... Back to Stoev. Stoev fires a ball over and it's just been wasted. And now here they come. But if Todor gets there, Todor does. But here comes Kukula. Oh, goodness me. What is this defending? This is actually pitiful. Right, I'm going to change a bit of a tactic thing here. As and Dai's going to come off. Oh, I've got no one to bring on. Um, Pedro, you're going to be changed to a winger. Um, I'm going to change our mentality to a bit more defensive here. Um, I'm going to, instead of counter pressing, I'm going to regroup. Um, Vlad on that deep line playmaker, he needs to be a ball winning midfielder on defend. Oh goodness gracious me, this has been horrendous. Well, wow. oh, I don't even know what to say here. And here we go, 82 minutes now. Kukula has scored one, yeah he's, he's rapid. Um, press him please. And it coming into the 88th minute here, can we hold on? We've got four minutes of additional time and this is a horrendously, oh no, don't do this to me football manager. Kukula's there and he fired it over, oh my goodness me, he had a free header. And that could have potentially have made it 2-2. But here we come with Papasov. Oh my goodness me, Burakov's through. Oh, and it's been a fantastic it's been a fantastic game here. It's been end-to-end -end with this semi-final here. Mitkov's there. But Kakula's in. No. And he's been fouled. A fantastic challenge from um who was that? But Kakula's offside, so it doesn't matter. But goodness gracious me, Kakula has dictated this game for them. And my word, this has been an absolute horrendous second half. As we've just sort of thrown this away. But I don't even know what happens on. Because we've obviously scored two and at their home. So I don't know if this actually sends us through. We go through. Oh, we've done it. We've done it on our away goals. Come on. I thought that was. I swear that was something that was happening. Because we've got two away goals. But we've done it. We're through to the final. Oh, my goodness me. We have been absolutely. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say here on this, uh, on this save. This has been absolutely insane. We're in the final. We've gone through on away goals. Kakula and Mitkov are actually... They fucked us in the second half. But goodness me, Papazov and Stoev have pulled us through this, this Bulgarian Cup. And we are into the final. I'm not even sure who we play against. But goodness me, I'm going to say... I'm going to have my outstretched arms. We're in the final. Congratulations. You all deserve it. Oh my goodness me, we're going to the final of the Bulgarian Cup. What is going on? 
Oh my, I'm delighted this side has made it. Yes, I am. Oh my god. So we're, oh my goodness me, we're playing Cherno Moore in the final. They've beaten Levski 8-5 on aggregate. What has happened? We literally, what is going on? This is insane. And here we go. We've made it to the final. Bul Locomotive Sofia win the Bulgarian semi-cup final. Oh my word. Steph with two assists on the day. He was superb. And post-match interview. I'm going to attend it. Just spam positiveness. Hopefully that makes an impact on the players. Well, there we are. We've made it to the Bulgarian Cup final, which um, I have to admit, that has to be the last episode here of this season against Slavia Sofia, then the Bulgarian Cup. Or I'm not too sure. I might do it as the Bulgarian Cup and the last game of the second league semi-final. Or I have a big... No, I'm going to do it as that. I'm going to do the Bulgarian Cup as its own... Um, save. I think that's that should be its own episode, I think. I'm going to do the Bulgarian Cup as a singular episode and then the Locomotive Plodvid game and the Slavia Sofia game as their own sort of say episode, as their own sort of collective episode. But thank you ever so much to everyone who has tuned in. That's been a fantastic episode. I can't believe it. We've made it to the Bulgarian Cup final against Cherno Moore. This has been absolutely unreal. I can't even believe we've done that in our second season here with uh, Locomotive Sofia. And the railway men have a chance of potentially going on and winning silverware in the second season. We'll be doing back-to-back -back silverware because obviously last year, I know it doesn't count, but last year we won the sorry we won the league title. Um, of the second division so that put us up so that that still includes as silverware so we have potential to go back to back here in the bulgarian cup but i can't believe we've even done this because this means that even if we go and win this game we are into europe which is huge i know it's like the bulgar i know the if you win the bulgarian cup i think in the final i think you go into if you win it oh it's the euro cup too so i'm not too sure about that it's a different competition than the, the uefa cup I just think it's like a smaller one for smaller teams, but that's still a huge achievement um, to go into. But again, like I said, thank you ever so much to everyone watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I think, you know, this is a huge, huge victory. You know, that deserves a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. So when you when we do play that semi-final, when we do play that final, you'll know straight away. So thank you again. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the episode i think the last next game will be most definitely that bulgarian cup final so thank you ever so much i'll see you in the bulgarian cup final against cherno more thank you bye bye